come. My time has come. My children time has come. It is my time. Court of wonders without number. I be a blessing to me. I be a blessing to my husband. We wonder sweet heart number. I be a blessing to my family. I don't know how to explain it. I'll be receiving me when Papa pray for miracle money. I receive a miracle money. Papa pray we should receive pay rise where we work. My husband receive pay rise where he work as the receiving miracle from friends. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. This is my time and my turn. When my papa said we should place our hand where we need a miracle, this is the, the evil report that the doctor gave me that I will not deliver so by myself that is going to be an oppression, which is I bring it out. My papa said we should bring bring what we don't want, we should place our hand, then I will bring the, 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 the evil report to, to papa. Papa will stretch his hand on it. Then I go for this, the ultrasound again. What they see before, they didn't see there again. They didn't see it there again, which is the baby there. They said that the baby is sitting down. God did it. The baby turned. The baby, they said, is going to be an operation. I was praying with Papa. Everything go perfectly. The day of my delivery, I was scared to go for, 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 for hospital. And I tested Papa. Papa, I'm about to deliver. Please. Declare Papa now sent me a message safely delivery. Now I have my evidence. Now I deliver at home. The baby they said that it's not coming out on its own, it's going for operation. And God do it and deliver like evil women. This is my evidence. Hey, Papa said we should recover all. Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. This is my baby. That was July. It's, I have my baby. Thank you, Jesus. God of wonders without number, I'll be a blessing to my children. It is my miracle. My name is Joy Innocent, testifying from Kaduna State. I was called upon early hours on 16th of June that my brother was kidnapped in Benue State. So I was troubled. I started praying and I called the wonders without number line, prayer line. And the pastor that paid the call prayed with me and said the said confession in the camp of the kidnappers that he sensed in the spirit that they are going to release my brother in 24 hours. And he said he has set fire in their camp that right now they have no choice than to leave my brother. That whatsoever they come to do, to steal, to kill, they will not see him. That they are going to release him. Immediately after the prayer, it's not even up to an hour, we receive another call that they have released them. They have brought them out that they take them to the hospital that he was injured. I want to return all the glory to God Almighty. I want to return all the glory to God of wonders without number. I am grateful. Thank you, Papa, for allowing God to use you for us in this generation. For my time has come. My name is Ruth Oyewole. I reside in the city of Jos, Nigeria. I want to appreciate God for what he has done for me. Um, I started following Wonders Without Number in April this year, 2022, and I was pregnant and I kept on praying to God, believing Him for safe delivery. I wrote down my prayer request each time you are praying on the prayer request, I place it on this, this TV screen, the, one of the prayers was that God should help me to deliver safely like the Hebrew women. God should help my child not to have any affliction. Like the first child had jaundice and I really suffered with it. So I asked God that he should not allow the affliction to arise again on this one. And God Almighty answered my prayers. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Amen. My name is Sonny Erabo. I'm in Nigeria. I'm basically living in Italy. I'm very sorry for not giving this testimony on time. I was having a blocky nose and I find it difficult to even sleep at night. My nose is blocked. One will be closed, the other one will be open and uh, to sleep it was very difficult for me. And I was, I go to my, to see my daughter, my daughter write me some drug that will be put in the, in the nose when I want to, when any time the nose got blocked. But the thing refused to work. I was having some symptoms, my throat was crashing me. I have to call my daughter again. That uh, My daughter told me that I should go and do a COVID-19 test. 
which is I, I go to go and do. But when I do it, it was negative. I say, what is wrong with me? I don't really know. But on the 10th of this, of this month, or June, I take my car to mechanic and uh, I was sitting in the, my car. I was listening to Wonder with I was listening to Papa. Suddenly, Papa, you mention my case. Say, you with uh, uh, nose blockage, you are healed in Jesus' name. Eastern, I, I, I just shouted. I say, Amen. This world is for me. I was so happy. After the prayer ended and I come home, when I get home, I told my wife, I say, Papa located me today. He said, Wow. Since that day on the 10th, Thing today my nose is free i am very free i am okay my time have come it was on saturday i went out and then the thief came around the zero three on sunday to come and store they stole my my tv and even my blanket even my including my document on sunday i was watching apostle johnson solomon during the sunday service my father Apostle johnson solomon said everything that your enemy the thief that have stolen to you, they bring back to you. And I believe it and I shouted, Amen. This is my prayer. And then on Monday, I was watching Apostle Johnson Solomon with Wonders Without a Number, the morning, the morning prayer session that we have. And he said the same, everything that your enemy have stolen to you, they'll bring back to you. And then on the same day on Monday, I received the call from the one that because the fifth they, they throw out near the Lord. So I received the call from the one who find my document. Oh, are you will at that? Yes, I am. We are find your document here. Where are you at? I'm, I'm now in Copper Belt. And then after that, I thank God because, because according for my father, Apostle Johnson Solomon said, everything that your enemy that have stolen to you, they will, they will bring back to you. I thank God because God has answered my prayer. I thank God for the God of my father, Apostle Johnson Solomon, for everything that God has answered in my life. I know God is going to do great and bigger in my life. My name is Willard. Skanka from Zambia. I have a lot of, lot of, lot of testimony. I've been a beneficiary of what? Megaku money. As the songwriter say, you done so much for me. I cannot tell it all. The God of Apostle Slima have done so much for me. As usually people say, if you connect, you go collect. If you don't connect, you don't have to collect. If you connect, you can collect. I've already connected my life, my spiritual life to the God of Apostle Slima. Then I know what I'm collecting from him. God bless you. I'm Joseph Wally Sambua. Sierra Leone, Makini. Life! For one year! For 31 years! 31 years! This is the first time! 31 years! She's walking! 31 years! Two babies! Not just sweat! Good morning, Apostle Johnson Suleiman and Wonders Without Numbers family. My name is Saira Ishad and I'm from Pakistan. Dear Apostle, I'm a daily viewer and a prayer partner of this uh, great channel from November 2021st. And from that very day onwards, God has increased my prayer life and uh, blessed me into great miracles and blessings through all the directions of my life. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings and mercies and praise. And dear Apostle, I want to bless you because you had given the instructions to write and to make notes of the prayers and prophecies into our notebooks uh, from July 1st of this year. But Apostle, I am here to tell you 
the holy spirit had guided me and instructed me to do so from april 25th of this year and from that very day onwards i am writing all the prayers all the prophecies all the verses into my book and i am giving all the glories to the holy spirit which is same for all of us god bless you your ministries and all the works you do god bless you good morning papa i am yamu money by name from Wari Delta State, Nigeria. Indeed, Daddy, my time has come. Uh, it all started from the 14th July. Uh, after the Wonder Without Number program, I slept off, and you sent you came to my dream, and you told me that I should um, I should sow a seed, which I did immediately. I woke up, and when I saw the seed, that same morning, my my mom went out to get something in the shop, and the shop was robbed by armed robbers, and she was carrying money that was not with what well, that was not for her. The money was very much. So the young mother asked her, uh, where, where, where the money did, where the money did. So out of shock, she threw the money away from her, from herself. So they could not really locate the money. They robbed everybody in the shop, but they, could, they didn't rob her. The, her phone was intact, her money was intact, and also her health was also intact because the young mother held her and they were shouting for, at her, as in, where the money, where the money, where the money. And funny enough, um, she, the money was not for her, actually, it was for somebody else. So the money was so much and I want to really thank God for preserving her life, preserving her phone, preserving the money, preserving you know, everyone in the shop. I really want to um, thank God for everything. Indeed, my time has come. My name is Obio Michael Uchenna from Italy. I am here to testify of the goodness of the Lord and his favors upon my life. Since the inception of Wonders Without Number, it has always been favor, mercy and the grace of God all over my life. Papa, I want to say thank you very much for introducing Wonders Without Number to humanity. Two of my friends who have been looking for a job for a very long time in Italy, they are based here in Italy. In fact, they have made an application to a particular company, one of the biggest companies in the world. They are into manufacturing of foods and uh, exportation of foods. These two of my friends have made application, but the company never called them for once. They have made this application more than four, five, six times. No way, they did not call them. During one of the sessions of Wonders Without Number, I brought this situation to God. I said, Father, my time has come. The time of my friends has come. Father, show mercy. Father, I want to apply for these two of my friends in this company. Lord, I want you to grant them favor and let the company accept their request and call them. After the prayers and this session, Papa, within one week, the two of them were called. They went for the interview. After the interview, two of them passed the interview, Papa. As I'm talking to you now, they are waiting for medical. All their documents has been taken. Everything has been collected. Both their bank accounts, everything has been collected. Father, I said I will not keep quiet. I must come out and testify among the family of wonders without number and also testify to the world that the Lord is really a merciful God and that he has answered my prayers and he has granted these two of my friends work. I made a promise to God. I said, if he answers this prayer, I will come out and testify and he has answered it. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised. Thank you very much, Papa. My time has come. I want to thank God for what he has done. I joined wonders with that number in the month of December and it was my husband who told me that his friend told him that there's a, a, an online program with uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, a prayer program, every five o'clock in the morning. I said, okay. I'm sure he told me around Thursday and Friday I tuned in to watch. I When I tuned in that five o'clock, wow, I saw the program and I prayed together. When we prayed together, it was really a good program. So I, I said I would be watching. But after I've watched for about a week or two, my husband started discouraging me that I should not wash. I say, ha, brother, what happened that I should not wash? Because at times I would call him brother. He said, I know it's disturbing. We are making noise. I say, ha, when you will get up at five o'clock to own your other things and be washing your phone, it does not disturb us. My prayer program, you are telling me, is disturbing. I say, sorry, Papa, but you see this particular one, I will follow it. I wash it to uh, wash January. Now he will stop sleeping in the room, he will come and be sleeping in the parlor. So at times I will get up in the morning to like follow. 
I will really be boring. I will always think of I'm coming to disturb him. He started another complaint that look how you have grown tiny because you get up at five, you don't have a good sleep. I said, Papa, I would rather grow tiny in the Lord than to go fat in Satan. So I keep on washing. As I wash, I wash. We pray for my family. We pray that we pray that the strong man in the family should die. Hey, I will connect to and I will pray. That December 31st, the strong man in my maternal family died. We we'll keep on praying, we we'll keep on praying. First of April, the one in my paternal family died. Ha, I was so very happy. I will keep on praying and I will pray and say, God, thank you. But what made me so very happy is the fact that all my children now get up and we wash it together. Everybody wash it together. Even my nanny that I just have, she came about two days ago. My name is Flores from Lagos. I want to testify of what God has done for me. Last week, I could not bend down because of the pain I was having in my head. The pain was so serious that even to sweep was a problem. So on Monday, when Papa was doing one that number, he said we should lay our hand when we are hot. Then after the prayer, I discovered that the pain ceased. I do what I could not do before. Normally, before, if I want to bend down, I will hold my head like this. I cannot bend down to sweep without holding my head. But after the prayer, everything became normal. I just want to say, God, thank you. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, my time has come. My name is Deborah Wanta from Lagos. I want to thank God for this grace. Okay, my first testimony. I was in my house about this last month. Last month, yes. Going to the ending of last month, Papa mentioned the lady lying down. Even described my position, I was lying down. He said, as a sister, right now I can see you use your with a cushion lying down on the sofa. And you got a cream from um, someone and you're using it that I should stop using the cream. Firstly, I was thinking, out of many people, I can pass the Papa mission my kids inside the room. He said I should, I should not use the cream, so I stopped using the cream. And thank God it saved me from a lot of things that shall pop up in my body. Life! For one year! For 31 years! 31 years! This is the first time! 31 years! She's walking! 31 years! I'm here to return all glory to God Almighty. On uh, eight, on 19th, I got my instant healing. I'm having uh, pains on my throat, but the uh, but the moment uh, Apostle mentioned my case and prayed, I cure my faith. As he prayed, everything disappeared. I have instant healing, so I'm here to return all glory to God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So Papa was saying that we should share the link to our brothers or our friends to people who can share it to. So I just share it to my brother who live in Germany. And I don't even know that he was passing some stress that he was even in quarantine for over a month. I just got him that very morning. I say there is a lot going on at Pastor Joseph Suleiman wonder without without number. That is just enter the YouTube and click Wonder Without Number Celebration TV so you will see it. So he really obeyed the instruction, he just follow and he pray along. So after the prayer he called me that morning, I was on my way to church. He said that he he said that he was even in quarantine as I just called him that morning. They don't even know how this case is being. For very month now they have kept him. Because of this coronavirus issue. So, on Monday morning of it, he called me. 
As he called me, I said, Don't worry. As you join the wonder without number, without number today, you will see that there's a positive answer you will get. You are going to be released from there. As far as you follow this link, wonder without without number. The on Monday of it, he really called me. He said that he has been set free. That they test him and they find him negative. This morning, which is July third, I really exhaust myself. Nothing was with me. I said, "Wow, God, what could I do now? I don't really have anything at home." I say, "How?" Yeah. I go to supermarket. I want to take something. But I take some things. I say no. The money that I have in my account will not be enough for these things. I drop some. I say okay. Let me just check the account to see what the money will be enough for. As I check it, I find money that I that I did not even expect. I was not expecting because all my own was it. It, it is best. It is just finished because I don't know where to start from. This money. I just find money. I look at where it comes from. I don't even know who sent the money. I don't even know. As a papa say, angel the deposit money. This one, I angel, Holy Ghost, don't deposit money for my account. I'm so grateful. May God keep your home in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Papa. We really love you. We love you so much. Good morning. Oh, this is Elijah from Zambia. I've been following wonders without numbers since day one and i've been really blessed the other day i received some money when we were praying over our favor when papa apostle johnson suleiman was praying about favor when we began to pray the very day i received money from someone i did not even expect to receive money from and apart from that there's been favor in prayer, there's been growth in prayer, and the, the thirst for his word, it has been really a turnaround and looking forward for more and more. Oh, so blessed, highly favored. Status changed, battles won. I've got the victory you overcame. This is my set time, and I know I'll proclaim. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win. My time has come. champion Christ did it all for me in victory battles won a time has come this is my season there is nothing that the devil can do about it oh, ready to win my time has come I'm a champion did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it Oh, ready to win, a time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me So we are highly favored. We are miracles. My time has come. 
I will rise in your name and declare your awesome words. I am blessed, oh so blessed, highly favored. Status changed, battles won. I've got the victory you overcame. This is my set time, and I know I'll proclaim. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win when time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won, a time has come. This is my season. Nothing that the devil can do about it oh, Ready to win when time has come I'm a champion Christ did it all for me in victory Battles won, a time has come This is my season There is nothing that the devil can do about it This is my set time, and I know I'll proclaim. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win when time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won, a time has come. Nothing that the devil can do about it. Oh, ready to win when time has come. I'm a champion. Christ did it all for me in victory. Battles won, a time has come. This is my season. There is nothing that the devil can do about it. Ready to win 
God bless you. Welcome to Wonders Without Number. My time has come. Yeah. My time has come. Yeah. I want to say that seven times. My time has come. You're going to say it seven times. My time has come. 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 Number one. My time has come. Say it again. 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 My time has come. And say it again. My time has come. My time has come is a prophetic declaration in Psalm 102 and verse 13. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Yeah. And I'm saying this to everyone under the sound of my voice. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the anointing of God's word, your time has come. Yeah. Your time for success has come. Yeah. Yeah, when you say my time has come, you are saying favor has come and mercy accompanies it. Yeah. I decree favor comes into your life and mercy accompanies it. Yeah. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. it's a new season for you, Amen. a new season for your family. Amen. The will of God will be done in your life. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to know, Wonders Without Number is a prayer platform where people are groomed in the act of praying and getting addicted to scriptures, to the word of God. As we begin to pray, we just love the Lord. We love him. And as we are praying, miracles happen we are not praying for the miracles we are not praying because of the miracles we are praying because we love him in the midst of those prayer miracles happen there are prophetic declarations very direct prophetic declarations with acute precisions and god glorifies himself but the ultimate is that we are gathered to pray gathered to call upon the lord and i decree today that as we pray god almighty will grant your desire amen he will grant your desire. Amen. Touch the like button now if you are watching online and begin to share. Share and share through. Touch the like button and start sharing. Share. Don't waste time. Share and share through. The grace of God is heavily upon your life. Amen. You begin to see the wonders and the miracles and the signs of God's word. Amen. The wonders, the miracles and the signs of God's word will begin to manifest in your life. Amen. You need those manifestations of his power. As we pray. Is the God that answers prayer. If you abide in me, my words abide in you, John 15 verse 7. Ask what you will. If the word of God is in you and you are in God, anything you ask, you get it. If you abide in him, his words abide in you. Ask what you want. It shall be done unto you. So, things can be done if these two elements are in place. You know Jesus and his words are in you. No wonder it says in first um in first John rather chapter 5 verse 14. This is the confidence we have that when we ask any time anything in line with his will, what is his will? His will is his word. When we ask anything in line with his will, he yielded us. So asking anything in line with the will of God is what opens you up for answers. And today, answers will come. Yeah. Oh my God. I say answers will come. Yeah. 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 In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It will come for your family. Yeah. It will come for your home. Yeah. It will come for your business. Yeah. It will come for your health. Yeah. Answers will come. Yeah. Answers will come. Yeah. God will arise. 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 God will arise.
In Jesus' name we pray. If there is a man to pray, if there is a man to pray, somebody say, My time has come. I want you to touch the like button now. Touch the like button and begin to share. Touch the like button and share. I'm hearing a name like Bright. And I'm hearing a name like Chiwendo. I'm hearing Bright. I'm hearing Chiwendo. The Lord says, I should tell you, you will not be poisoned. Yeah. Whatever they have kept to poison you and ultimately take your life is cancelled. Yeah. Anything that is not of God in your system is coming out now. Yeah. The Bible says in John chapter 1 and verse 5, and the light shineth in darkness. And the light shineth in darkness. Yeah. When the light of God is upon your life, you will shine anywhere. Yeah, man. Um, the light shineth in darkness. My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. If you are watching on home, at home, write it now. You are watching online. Type it on your phone, your WhatsApp, everywhere. My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. And for everyone that will say amen in the comment section, I decree your light shine in darkness. Yeah. I say your light shine in darkness. Yeah. It doesn't matter how dark your life may be, your light shine. Yeah. It doesn't matter how dark your life may be, may your light shine. Yeah. 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 My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. My light will shine in darkness. Yeah. Yeah. My light will shine in darkness. <laughs> Shut up, 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 shut up
In Jesus' name. Amen. And the light shall not in darkness. Touch the light button now and begin to share. Touch the like button. And begin to share. A miracle is coming to you where you are. Amen. Touch the like button and begin to share. And the light, still on verse 5, shine in darkness. And darkness comprehended it not. Amen. From today, darkness cannot comprehend me. Amen. From today, darkness cannot comprehend me. Amen. From today, darkness cannot comprehend Amen. me. Darkness cannot comprehend your family. Yeah. Darkness cannot comprehend your job. Yeah. Darkness cannot comprehend your home. Yeah. Darkness cannot comprehend your affairs. Yeah. From today, darkness cannot comprehend me. Yeah. From today, darkness cannot comprehend me. Yeah. From today, darkness cannot comprehend me. Bakatia la mana. Shut the 
Chandra Golo, 
In Jesus' name we pray. I said in Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says in verse 14, this is going to be our scriptural prayer for today. Touch the like button now. Touch the like button and begin to share. Touch the like button and begin to share. Touch the like button and share. This is going to be our prayer, uh, scriptural prayer. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Amen. And because the word was made flesh and was dwelling among us, we beheld the glory is glory. The glory begotten of the only begotten, the only, the glory as of the only begotten Son of the Father, full of grace and of truth. Oh Lord, as I begin to pray, in my life, let your word become flesh. Yeah! Somebody say, my father, my father. My father, yeah, my father. father. Somebody just got the gift of a mug, a cup. You just, they just gave it to you, a, a gift, a, a mug, a mug cup. They wrapped it and they gave you. Don't do anything with that. If you drink water, you drink anything from it, that's the end of it. Whatever is not of God, today be uprooted. Yeah! Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. In, the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. In my life. In my life. Let the word be made flesh. Let the word be made flesh. In my life. In my life. Let the word be made flesh. Let the word be made flesh. In my life. In my life. Let the word be made flesh. Let the word be made flesh. Open your mouth and fire prayers now. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Connect your faith to my faith. I, I speak the hand of the Almighty God upon you. Amen. I decree your light will shine in the darkness. Amen. The darkness will not comprehend them. Amen. I decree upon your life. Every word of God on your life shall become flesh. Amen. You will handle God's word concerning you. Amen. The prophecy on your life will manifest. Amen. It's a new season for you Amen. and your family. It's a new season for you and your family. It's a new season for you and your family. In the name of Jesus. A new season for you and your family. A new season for you and your family. A new season for your business. A new season for your home. A new season for your finance. In the name of Jesus. You walked somewhere before. And that place you are working with, now they are after your life. I don't know what transpired. But they are after your life. And you are innocent. My God will fight for you. Amen. He will turn it around for your good. Amen. There is somebody. Your name is Matthew. And the enemy wants to attack you with stroke on one side of your body. But right now the hand of God sets you free. Amen. There are 60 people whose finances have been held back in the spirit realm. But right now, your finances are loose. Shut up. I'm seeing somebody watching now. Today is your birthday. But you're having a problem with breathing. And you've been going through a lot of disappointment. You're having a breathing problem. And today is your birthday. And you're having a, having a lot of disappointments. God says healing your body Amen. and is turning the disappointment to appointment. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Place your left hand where you need a miracle. You are sick in body where you are hurting. And stretch your other hand. I command sickness to go. Amen. I command disease to go. Amen. I command deafness to go. Amen. I command paralysis to go. Blood affliction, go. Bone cancer, go. Pains in the bone, go. In your head, the crown of your head, the sole of your feet, you are healed. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say, my time has come. Touch the like button now. Hear these testimonies as they come. Good morning, Papa. My name is Olua Bukola Brenda. I'm an African-American in North Carolina. I've been going through heavy vagina bleeding for the past four to five months. I was in the hospital. All kinds of tests and scans We are done, but could not find anything wrong. My blood level was seriously low. On my first day back at work, a sister from my church sent me a link. As I was gathering some paperwork, I put my earbuds in my ear so I can listen. I saw one that's without number day two back to send up. 
I was listening to Papa and I heard him say, God says he's going to heal someone. Stretch your hand. Stretch forth your hand. My spirit just jumped. I look up at the screen, stretched my hand and started screaming, Amen, to the prayer. To the glory of God, immediately and instantly, the bleeding stopped completely. Good morning, Papa. The God of wonders without number has smiled on me. I entered 2022 unemployed. I sent a prayer request to this platform concerning my job. To the glory of God, I got a lot of job opportunities. I was praying for God to give me the best option and I've started working. Also, I've been enjoying miracle money and God has preserved my life countless times. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Louisa from Ghana. Good morning, Papa. My name is John Tubeyang. I'm from Cameroon. I'm a Cameroonian, but I reside in Bahrain. On Friday, 8th of July, I received unexpected miracle money. It was 230 euros from a friend in Germany. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. Since we connected to Wonders Without Number, our lives have turned around for good. Our prayer lives have changed. We can even preach to people. I sent a prayer request that I wanted my wife to pass her driver's license test. To the glory of God, she passed the, the exam. Igbinake from Germany. Good morning, Papa. My name is, Philomena, is Philemon from Zambia. I want to thank God, the God of wonders without number. Since I joined this platform, my prayer life has grown. No more difficulties in prayers. I had chest and heart aches. But after receiving declaration from Papa on this platform, the pain disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. My name, my wife and I joined wonders without number from its inception. Our spiritual life has grown. We have received miracle. We have also received miracle money. Last month, my brother's wife, I never had any. Com I never had any communication with before. Sent me money for my daughter's school fees, and promised to send me more. I was surprised. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Daniel from Accra, Ghana. Good morning, Papa. The God of wonders without number has done it for me. I want to give God the glory for. Blessing me with miracle money. I received an alert of 5 million naira from someone I didn't expect. I didn't expect. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Good morning, Papa. I want to thank the God of Wonders Without Number for his awesome act. I introduced a friend to Wonders Without Number. He has been trusting God for promotion for over a year at his place of work. To the glory of God, his desires was granted. He called to tell me that he got promoted. Thank you, Jesus. Our time has come. Cecilia Nanga from Cameroon. Good morning, Papa. At some point, things became tough and rough for us. I and my wife could barely feed, and we couldn't pay the house rent. But the God of wonders without number intervened. There was one iron gate I constructed. I managed to gather myself, sprayed, and designed it. To the glory of God, I shaded it in front of my workshop. It was the same day to the glory of God, the day I shaded it in front of my workshop was the same day the God of wonders without number brought a buyer to buy the gate. A transfer of 420,000 naira was paid to my account. I paid my rent, bills, and settled debt. Thank you, Jesus. My time has come. Ezekiel from Delta State. Final testimony from today. For today. Good morning, Papa. I received miracle money last week into my business account. I was actually expecting money from the contract I got from the state of texas but when the money arrived it was double i was shocked and couldn't believe what i saw in my account thank you jesus my time has come elizabeth from texas usa right where you are i decree your request be granted i decree miracle money I decree a lot. I decree a lot. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. 3,000 people. We are believing God for our partnership on Wonders Without Number platform. We have the bronze, we have the silver, and the gold. In case you're having it hard connecting, you can call these numbers and they'll walk you through the process in the name of Jesus. And also our toll free numbers are being scrolled now. Make sure you reach out. Reach out to somebody. Somebody is waiting to pray for you. Eagerly waiting to pray for you. If you are led by the Lord also to drop a seed, you can do that. 
We have a South Africa bank account. If you live in South Africa, there's a bank account now displays. You can take a screenshot of this account so that you stop asking and asking and asking. If you live in Ghana also, there's an opportunity for you. There's a bank of account in Ghana. Take this bank of account in Ghana. And then you have two accounts in Ghana. You have the CDs account. You have the dollars account. Take this account. You can screenshot it and take it now. And as the Lord lays in your heart, as the Lord blesses you, you can drop a seed as you are led by the Spirit of God. If you are living in America, you have an opportunity to do the same thing right now. The Lord will bless you and cause his face to shine on you. If you have an offering to drop, do that. I'll see you again tomorrow by the grace of God. Until then, don't you ever forget, if there is a man to pray, yes, yes, God, God, God. somebody say, my time has come. My time has come. I'll see you tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Amen. Life! Life! For 31 years! 31 years! This is the first 31 years! She's walking! 31 years! Two babies! Not just sweat! That's what it is! He was blind! That's what it is! My children's time has come! My children's time has come! It is my time! God of wonders without number! I'll be a blessing to me! I'll be a blessing to my husband! We want that sweet number. I'll be a blessing to my family. I don't know how to explain it. I'll be receiving me when Papa pray for miracle money. I receive a miracle money. Papa pray we should receive pay rise where we work. My husband receive pay rise where he work as they receiving miracle from friends. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jesus. It is my time and my turn. When my papa said we should place our hand where we need a miracle, this is the, the evil report that the doctor gave me that I will not deliver so by myself that is going to be an oppression, which is I bring it out. When papa said we should bring, bring what we don't want, we should place our hand, then I will bring the, 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 the evil report to, to papa. Papa will stretch his hand on it. Then I go for this, the ultrasound again. What they see before, they didn't see there again. They didn't see it there again, which is the baby that they said that the baby is sitting down. God did it, the baby turned. The baby they said is going to be an operation. I was praying with Papa. Everything go perfectly. The day of my delivery, I was scared to go for, 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 for hospital. And I tested Papa. Papa, I'm about to deliver. Please. Declare Papa now sent me a message safely delivery. Now I have my evidence. Now I deliver at home. The baby they said that it's not coming out on its own, it's going for operation. And God do it and deliver like evil women. This is my evidence. The Papa said we should recover all. Oh, this is my baby. This is my baby. This is my baby. That was July. It's, I have my baby. Thank you, Jesus. God of wonders with that number. I'll be a blessing to my children. It is my miracle. My name is Joy Innocent, testifying from Kaduna State. I was called upon early hours on 16th of June that my brother was kidnapped in Benue State. So I was troubled. I started praying and I called the wonders with that number line, prayer line. And the pastor that picked the call prayed with me and said he said confession in the camp of the kidnappers that he sense in the spirit that they are going to release my brother in 24 hours. And he said he has set fire in their camp that right now they have no choice than to leave my brother. That whatsoever they come to do, to steal, to kill, they will not see him. That they are going to release him. Immediately after the prayer, is not even up to an hour, we we'll receive another call that they have released them. They have brought them out that they take them to the hospital that he was injured. I want to return all the glory to God Almighty. I want to return all the glory to God of wonders without number. I am grateful. Thank you, Papa, for allowing God to use you for us in this generation. For my time has come. My name is Ruth Oyewole. I reside in the city of Jos, Nigeria. I want to appreciate God for what he has done for me. Um, I started following Wonders Without Number in April this year, 2022, and I was pregnant and I kept on praying to God, believing Him for safe delivery. 
I wrote down my prayer request each time you are praying on the prayer request I place it on this this TV screen the one of the prayers was that God should help me to deliver safely like the Hebrew women God should help my child not to have any affliction like the first child had jaundice and I really suffered with it so I asked God that he should not allow the affliction to arise again on this one and God Almighty answered my prayers thank you Jesus my time has come Amen my name is Sonny Erabo I'm in Nigeria and basically living in Italy I'm very sorry for not giving this testimony on time I was having a blocky nose and I find it difficult to even sleep at night. My nose is blocked. One will be closed, the other one will be open. And uh, to sleep, it was very difficult for me. And I was, I go to my, to see my daughter. My daughter write me some drug that I will be putting in the in the nose when I want to wear it, and the nose got blocked. But the thing refused to work. I was having some symptoms. My throat was scratching me. I have to call my daughter again that uh, my daughter told me that I should go and do a uh, COVID-19 test which is I, I go to go and do but when I do it, it was negative I said, what is wrong with me? I don't really know but on the 10th of this, of this month of June I take my car to mechanic and uh, I was sitting in the, my car I was listening to one down with I was listening to Papa Suddenly, Papa Young mentioned my case. Say you, with a uh, uh, nose blockage, you are healed in Jesus' name. Instant, I, I, I just shouted. I say, hey, Amen. This world is for me. I was so happy after the prayer ended, and I come home. When I get home, I told my wife. I say, Papa located me today. He said, Wow. Since that day on the ten, till today, my nose is free. I am very free. I am okay. My time have come. It was on Saturday. I went out. In and then the fifth came along the zero three on Sunday to come and store. They store my, my TV and even my blanket, even my, including my document. On Sunday, I was watching Apostle Johnson Solomon during the Sunday service. My father, Apostle Johnson Solomon, said, Everything that your enemy, the thief that have stolen to you, they bring back to you. And I believe it and I shouted, Amen. This is my prayer. And then on Monday, I was watching Apostle Johnson Solomon with Wonders Without a Number, the morning, service, the morning prayer session that we have. And he said the same, everything that your enemy have stolen to you, they will bring back to you. And then on the same day on Monday, I received the call from the one, that, because the fifth, they, they throw out near the Lord. So I received the call from the one who find my document. Oh, are you will at that? Yes, I am. We are find your document here. Where are you at? I'm, I'm now in Copa Belt. And then after that, I thank God because, because according for my father, Apostle Johnson Solomon said, everything that your enemy that have stolen to you they will they will bring back to you i thank god because god has answered my prayer i thank god for the god of my father apostle johnson solomon for everything that god has answered in my life i know god is going to do great and bigger in my life my name is willard skanka from zambia i have a lot of lot of lot of testimony i've been a beneficiary of what Miracle morning, as the songwriter say, you done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. The code of Apostle Slima have done so much for me. As usually people say, if you connect, you go collect. If you don't connect, you don't have to collect. If you connect, you can collect. I've already connect my life, my spiritual life to the God of Apostle Slima. Then I know what I'm collecting from him. God bless you. I'm Joseph Wally Sambua, Sierra Leone, Makini. Life!